Welcome to Frankie Lovato's 365 Days of Racing Terminology. This series is for you, the fans, and in support of Jockey World's mission to improve, promote, and provide more education, health, and safety into the world of horse racing. This is Frankie Lovato with today's turn number 65 of 365. Contract Rider. A contract rider is a term for a jockey who signed a contract that is a legally binding obligation to ride primarily for one particular trainer or stable. This was common practice that was used many years ago, most often with young apprentice jockeys that was getting started into racing. The trainer or stable was called the contract holder, and the average contracts for the apprentice jockeys lasted one to three years. Some of the benefits of an apprentice jockey becoming a contract rider were that the stable and trainer would take on the obligation of the young apprentice by offering them benefits such as the security of steady work and housing while learning, looking after their business affairs and providing them with guidance as they begin their careers as jockeys. For a journeyman jockey, this could mean a steady secure salary, but in most cases it was for the bigger successful stables and top jockeys that meant a legal obligation to remain intact as a team for all future races and horses specified for a period of time. One of the disadvantages of being a contract rider is that the jockey could not ride another horse in the race against their trainer or stable. This would mean even if your contract holder wanted to use another jockey for the race instead of you, you still would not be permitted to ride another horse in the race for a different trainer or stable. You would have to sit the race out altogether. For many of the apprentice jockeys, they were usually paid a salary or allowance that usually was not full pay, regardless of how many horses they had ridden or races they may have won. Also the contract holder had the power to manage the apprentice jockey's life and career as far as where and when they could ride, regardless of what may have been in the best interest of the jockey. There were cases that were corrupt where the contract holders took full advantage of their apprentice jockeys. Some stables would even sell or pawn their contracted apprentices to other stables for personal gain, regardless if it meant jeopardizing the young jockey's career. Because of this and the change of time, the practice of jockeys becoming contract riders here in the United States is all but extinct. There is now another term and arrangement in place named riding first call. This is where a trainer and jockey have a verbal agreement of a commitment to each other but is not binding by law. Regardless, the era of contract riders is quickly on its way to simply becoming another piece of horse racing history. Today's clip is brought to you by BetPTC.com, racing's best kept secret. Get cash back with each and every wager, plus a $100 sign-up bonus as a new member. Visit BetPTC.com today. For more information, or if you would like to sponsor some of our terminology clips, please email info at jockeyworld.org. You may also be interested in Frankie Lovato's racing terminology booklet, which is for sale in the Jockey World store and available at jockeyworld.org. All proceeds go to Jockey World, a 501c3 nonprofit organization.